Typical Rack Tuesday, eh? Is that what you guys are calling it now? <laughs> Super Troll Tuesday. No, not Super Troll Tuesday. I like Typical Rack Tuesday better. How you guys doing? Hope you're doing good. We, this will not be a super long hunter stream because of the fact that we do have, like I said, in the pin message, Tackle Tuesday later today. So I don't want to go past the beginning of that. Let's pull up the whitetail deer grind right here. Quickly hit reset on all the counters because this is a fresh grind. Love to see you, man. Whitetail grind 35. Can we actually get what we want this time? Please, please, please. Just, just give us what we want, man. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're all doing great. There's a box. There we go. Solid start to the day with a singular buckaroonie kill. Oh no, L, that's rough, dude. Hope you're safe. No, I'm not going live on Twitch yet. No, not with uh, Call of the Wild. I got two streams that I'm doing today, so I'm going to save my energy for the Tackle Tuesday one for Twitch. Twitch is getting a Tackle Tuesday stream today. Maybe, Wayne, maybe. I mean, we literally just started this grind, so I highly doubt we'll get a great one, but hey, you got to start somewhere. We got to work our way up to another one somehow. Oh, really, Merle? Interesting. Very interesting. Bro, are you joking? There's not even a deer dead there. What is this? Come on. Oh, call the wild. Why are you taking my tents down? This is just cruel. This is cruel and uncalled for. It's cruel and unusual punishment. So I'm pretty sure the tent was right here-ish. Uh, let's see. Boop. There we go. There we go. Unbelievable, man. These beavers just, they never leave you alone. They never let it rest. Hey, Thatcher, I'm doing good. There was lightning that hit 50 yards from my house today. It blew up the Wi-Fi modem. We currently have a tornado watch. Oh, gosh, Knox. Jeez, man. Sounds like some of y'all are going through some wild weather right now. That's crazy. No, not today, Faded. I didn't feel like doing two chats and then going live with Tackle Tuesday and watching two chats again. So we're just going to do YouTube for Call of the Wild. Twitch will get to see Angler later as well as uh, YouTube. Yeah, Oregon really doesn't get uh, tornado watches like at all. I think we maybe had like one occasion where we got tornadoes in the last like 20 years. Like it's not a common thing here, thankfully. Watch the 264 whitetail. Ooh, ouch, dude. Oh, no, Scott. Oof, man. That's rough. Uh, no, Nox. I don't believe I did. Yo, what's up, Sam? How you doing, Sam? That's a three. Oh, it has no chance of making it. You know what we do to guarantee trolls? We give them the 300 treatment. Along with their brothers. Nice, Troll Hunter. Nice. I heard about that, uh, Kledra. I heard about that one. That's usually how it is, man. Especially early on in the existence of a map. 
You'll hold a record for a day and then it'll be gone the next. Yep, I am indeed in Oregon. Shot a gold, gold male Gemsbok. Let's go, dude. One of the more underrated rares, I feel. They're kind of cool. I'll rip Liam. <laughs> Faded. <laughs> oh, man. Two shots, two kills. Cannon, thank you for the 18 months as a member, man. Thank you so much for the 18 months as a member, you absolute legend. Yeah, absolute legend, man. That's a wide one. What am I targeting on the angler? Uh, for the angler tonight, we're going to be going after all three of the Kerper species. So blue canary and red breast Kerper. And it's going to be our biggest fish of each of those. Oh, gotcha, Clay Drew. Gotcha. Ah, not a diamond, really? I thought he would make it, but I guess he was just barely off. Just barely missed it, man. Okay, that's a two there. We can pop him as well as the other one. Thirteen kills on the grind already. Not bad. Hey, Peter, how's it going? Oh, yeah, Merle. Did Brober say whether or not he's competing in Tackle Tuesday tonight? I don't remember if uh, I saw a post from him or not. I assume it's very questionable considering he's like in full on dad mode right now preparing for the baby. Yo, what's up, Caitlin? How's it going? Are you excited for the Kerper extravaganza? Yeah, bro dad for real, for real. Crazy to think. Bro, bro's bad to be a dad. That's just wild. Never thought I'd see the day. Um, how about Emerald Coast, uh, Running Deer? My favorite map of all time. Just a masterpiece of a map. Guess you could call it a masterpiece. Oh, golf's great. I mean, I haven't played in years, but I played a lot as a kid. And always had a fun time with it. Something my dad really enjoyed doing. Oh, he was, Caitlin. That sounds about right. I mean, it's a ton of fun. It's a blast. Blasting those crocodiles. <laughs> yeah, metal. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. You never know. His kid could grow up a Patriots fan just to annoy him, you know. And then I could then I could rub that in constantly like, "Ha, he doesn't like the Chiefs, he likes the Patriots." That would be that would be the best thing possible. Brobra's uh Brobra's son grows up to be a Patriots fan. 
He'd be like, Dad, Scarecrow was right. Chiefs suck. Patriots better. Yeah, still no typical wreck. Who would have thought, man? Scott, thank you for the 29 months. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, Chase, we've talked about that for years at this point. Probably the most requested ever, if I were to take a guess. Uh, between like 60 and 75, depending on each individual map, uh, Qualdera. There's a lot of white tail drink zones. Oh, and also I probably should say I don't watch sports anymore. So I'm when I talk about loving the Patriots, it's old Patriots. Back when they saw Brady and Gronk and everybody like that. I haven't watched football really for I think I maybe watched two games in the last 10 years. Yo, what's up, Austin? How's it going? Opinion on Madden? Uh, one of the worst video game franchises of recent years. They were good for the first, like, what, 10 years of existence or so? They were good up until, like, Madden 07 or Madden 08. Then they uh, kind of just got terrible. The second they got that exclusivity deal to where they were the only ones allowed to make NFL games, the entire franchise just spiraled downwards. And I don't think there's ever been like any good Maddens since like Madden 08. They, they just always drop the ball because they don't care. Just plain and simple, EA does not care. And so they just make garbage games every single year for Madden. It's sad because I used to really like those games. But if you ask me, the greatest football game ever made was uh, ESPN NFL 2K5. Best football game ever made. I'm sure a lot of you probably have never even played it or heard of it because it was an old PlayStation 2 game made in like 2004. It's like a 20 year old game and it's better than every single Madden they've come out with in the last 10 years. It somehow had more content than any modern Madden and had better systems in general. It was just a better game. It was so good. Makes me really hope that one day ESPN will be able to uh, make football games again. Well, it's not ESPN. It's 2K. 2K made the game, I'm pretty sure. Because it was ESPN NFL 2K5. I'm pretty sure it was 2K that made it. But it was a great game. Never been one like it since. I have no clue where the other one went, so we're just going to move along. I don't play any of the uh, NBA games. Yeah, I guess that's a step in the right direction, Sam. But it doesn't change the fact that every Madden game from the last, like, 10, 15 years has just been a copy-paste recycled game with everything the same from the previous years and a million like unnecessary things cut from it nothing there glitchy too exactly like they're they don't even polish them it's just sad to see I'm happy that I was playing those types of games back when they were really good. Like when I was into Madden, you know, it was a long, long time ago. It was, it was when I was like, probably like 12, between the ages of 12 and 16. And so I played a lot of the really old Maddens. I played stuff like Madden 04, Madden 08. Madden 05, 07, etc. And those ones were great. No, messed the shot up. 
Also, guys, how is the audio levels for the music, like, in relation to the audio level of my voice? Um, Windows had an update, and it screwed up my audio a bit. Like, normally with OBS, if I change the desktop volume, it doesn't affect the uh, sound volume that goes through uh, OBS or Streamlabs. But... With this Windows update, for some reason, now when I change the desktop volume, it changes it on my stream as well. So if I like, if I were to turn my volume off completely on my desktop before this, it would have still had audio coming through OBS. But now like if I mute it, it mutes it for OBS as well, which is not ideal at all. Not ideal. Yeah, literally like Windows updates. <laughs> For a while, it broke my music player as well. The one that I'm using right now, um, which at the time I, it was the Groove player, which is the Windows Media Player's old name. Now it's uh, Windows Media Player because I updated it in hopes that it would fix the issue. But essentially, no matter what volume I put it at, it was always playing at max volume. I could have it on a one and it would play on 100%. I could change the slider in my actual like system sounds for the audio player and it would still be at max. I could completely mute it and it would still be playing at max. And then I just changed a couple settings in the properties of it and then it started working again, but it was weird. It was weird, man. I didn't stream, was it yesterday? I think it was, I think it was the day before. I didn't stream the day before because I had so I was dealing with like all those little issues that popped up because of the Windows update. Ah. Well, we got him, but that wasn't like the best shooting ever. Oh, it did? It wouldn't shuffle for months? See, that is actually an issue that it still has, Caitlin. Usually what you have to do is you have to turn shuffle off and then turn it back on. Because even if it says it's on, like if you've closed the player, it's technically off even if it shows it's on. So then you just have to like disable it, re-enable it, and then it should shuffle properly. But yeah, that's a pretty common issue. When I updated it to the new like Windows Media Player, it, uh, it actually does, like, show it as being off when I launch it. So I think before it just didn't show that it was off when it actually was. It's weird. Technology is strange sometimes. Oh, no, Caitlin, rip. Hate to see it. No clue, Terrell. No clue. I got a lot of main channel stuff that I need to catch up on from all the, like, uh, off days I've had the last week. So I, I don't know what I'll be doing for second channel. Because I had to take a couple days off of doing content because I had uh, an Easter party to go to. And then the day before that, I had to get all my tax stuff done. So I haven't really been able to get all the content I needed to done. Uh, to be honest, I barely got like videos recorded for today and yesterday. So once I kind of get all that situated, then we'll think about some more stuff on the second channel. Uh, possibly JC. Possibly. Like I said, stuff's been going so wild recently. I'm trying to like figure out what I'm going to do for things. <laughs> I'd like to do a special, like, 200k stream or video. But I gotta plan things out first. Ah, uh, nothing yet, Jackson. Not even a diamond, to be honest. Is Anglin 40 minutes? It is. Which means I'll be streaming for another, like, 35. On The Hunter. And then I'll end this stream and then start up a second stream. Yo, what's up, Kevin? Yes, that's definitely what we're doing for 200k. 100%. No cap in that message at all. Of 
Poor little box. Just getting dunked on. I didn't see it unheardable, but I was there uh, when she told me about it. Go grab these two. Where they die. There we go. Okay. There they are. If you finish a grind and you do another grind, do you just keep using your main lakes or do you manage other lakes? Wait, like, are you saying, like, if I finish a grind and then I just, like, want to go for another one, like, of the same species? I mean, if it's the same species, you don't need to set up a second grind to go for another one. Like, you don't need to change zones. Just keep hunting the same zones. That's, like, the, the whole point of managing things down is so that you can just repeatedly grind the, the best of the best zones that you have, you know? I mean, that's what I do. I don't think I've changed zones for Whitetail in like four or five great ones. The only time I really change them is if I mess up a zone. Or if a zone just doesn't seem to be performing the way I want it to. Then I'll swap things around a little bit. Favorite gun from 2020? Oh gosh, I don't even know what they released in 2020. I think it's been too long for me to really remember. I'd have to go dig through all of them. And see what was released when. Oh, nice, Caden. That's awesome. You got a great one. I hope you're uh hope you're feeling better now, though. Hope you're you're not still feeling sick. And if you are, I hope you get better. Was the M1 released in 2020? I honestly can't remember. All I remember is that 2020 was when I started, like, uh, taking YouTube seriously and started doing daily uploads. Uh, your name in Call of the Wild goes off of the platform that you're playing on, so... If you're playing on Steam, it's very easy to change your name. You just change your Steam profile name. I assume it works the same on Xbox. Well, I, on Xbox, it goes by your gamer tag. So whatever your gamer tag is, is what your name in game will be. Ah, uh, yeah, I can show you my skills. Where are they? Skills. This is what I use. Do a quick little peek at each of them. You can screenshot them if you want. Ooh, that's big. That's big. And that's a big super chat. Viper, thank you for the super chat. Are wonky whitetail racks really a sign of a great one coming soon? No, it, it's not. Uh, I'll tell you right now, it's not a sign. Because I've got like 20 out of the 30 racks being really bent, folded or flattened. Also is getting two pie balls to spawn in like 60 to 100 kills. No, n neither of those are signs of a great one. To be honest, there's no surefire signs of a great one. There's stuff that people have thought we're maybe a sign of a great one, but nothing has ever really been proven. The most, like, reputable, I guess, like, claim is that if you start seeing a lot of smaller scoring animals on your map, it could mean that you have a great one on the map or it's about to spawn. Or if your animals just start acting very weird and don't show up for, like, multiple runs in a row. Like, if you just notice everything's acting weird, that can sometimes mean it, but it's it's never a guarantee. Like, in most cases, it's usually just nothing. But the whole bent racks thing, that wasn't really ever really something that was believed super heavily, aside from when Great One Grinding was first starting to take off with the release of Rancho Del Arroyo. That was really the only time that people believed that bent racks meant anything. And the only reason we really believed that was because right before I got my, I think it was my second or third great one whitetail, we had a ton of really twisty boys spawning. So we thought that that might mean it. But yeah, to be honest, I don't know why I even thought that back then. Knowing all that I do now with how many grinds we've done, it kind of blows my mind that I believed that back then. Anyway, let's see what the scores. 270. 
Not bad. First diamond of the day. And he's a thicky boy. That is a thick buck. Super thick. Now let's see what else we can get. <laughs> yeah, I've been wondering what's going on, Sam. <laughs> it's like a it's like a bomb going off in chat. Oh, that's a buck we can shoot. Oh, so is that. Two more to smoke. Okay, let's... Uh, hey, why are you walking in front of him? I don't want to accidentally shoot the one behind him. Be extra careful with it. There we go. I'd say that was good. No, I don't tax 270 and above. I tax 275s. Or really wonky diamonds. And occasionally 274s. Cause like half the half the diamond white tail we get are above 270. I'd have like hundreds of them taxed at this point if I taxed every 270 plus. And I mean I already don't have room in my lodges, so I don't really see a point in uh spending money on taxing something I'm not gonna mount or that I'm not gonna put up in a lodge. So I reserve it for the super special ones. Keep in mind, that is only because we do herd management and we get a lot of diamonds because of herd management. Ooh, actually, it's a good thing I missed. That could be a dime. No way. He actually gave us a shot. Oh, that was so lucky, dude. We actually had a chance to change and take the shot. That's crazy. We took down this guy with the 300. We're able to swap weapons and take down this guy right here. I mean, he didn't make it, but if he had made it, we wouldn't have messed him up. Viper, thank you for another super chat, dude. Sorry, the piebald portion was supposed to say is getting two piebald to spawn at 60 to 100 kills. Good, like as a rare spawn rate. Oh yeah, that's, that's a great spawn rate for rares. Normally, it's like once every 300 kills, you'll get a rare. Like the average is usually one in 300. Ooh, another big in. Jeez, dude, we're getting giant whitetail. Already, we just started. And there's already some monsters here. And that one's really big. Like it could make 275 or 274 maybe. I mean, the tip to tip wasn't great, so I'm going to go out on a limb and guess like 270 again and not like 275. Let's see. Yeah, 270.93. It's a max weight, though. First max weight in a uh, in a couple of grinds, I think. I haven't seen a max weight in any recent streams, at least for the whitetail. Not bad. At least I don't think. I could be wrong. Not bad, man. Yeah, super close. Super, super close. I have not seen a 275 in a while, so I'm really hoping that we can get one soon. Or like a 270 plus rare. That's another goal of mine for the whitetail grind. Right now, our goals are obviously getting any great ones we can, but primarily looking for the typical rack great one. Getting a super rare buck that scores above 270. And then the final thing I really want to do is just get another 275. And the ultimate goal, a 275 rare. Well, really a 274 plus rare would be the ultimate goal. Anything above that would be like the best of the best. It's crazy that after all the grinding we've done, with over 40,400 kills on Whitetail Deer. We don't have a 270 plus rare. You'd think we'd have at least one of them. Imagine you get to 100 great ones. It'll happen someday. Hard to say when though. I mean, if they release a new great one, that number will skyrocket because I'll be grinding like 10 hours a day again. But at our current pacing, it might be a few months before we break 100. 
probably close to a year, to be honest. I know it's scheduled, hunting dude. Oh, <laughs> that'd be crazy, Aiden. But it, it wouldn't be possible for that to troll. So, technically, that isn't possible. Now, it would be possible for me to mess it up, though. Could you imagine if I messed up a 275 rare? Oh, man, that would suck. That'd be really bad. That'd be terrible. What animal do I want to have a great one next? I would love an elk. I'm really hoping for a Rocky Elk. That would be my number one pick. Because could you imagine how crazy a Rocky Elk great one would be? Oh my gosh, that'd be just an insane great one. And like if they did Rocky Elk, you could technically grind for Elk and Bear great one at the exact same time because they share a lot of zones. That'd be such a fun grind, man. It'd be so fun. Tokyo, thank you for the 26 months, dude. Really appreciate it. Only moose, whitetail, black bear, red deer have great ones. Uh, And fallow deer, Necron. And fallow deer. Fallow deer also have them. Nothing there. What's up, Dawson? Do you think the new weapon or do you think the new weapon pack is worth it? Uh yes, I do. Primarily for this beast right here, the 300 AR. What was my dog just doing? I saw that. I saw that hunter. You were doing a little little shaky shake. Looked crazy. Nothing. Huh. I guess they're just not there. Oh yeah, Necron. Yeah, the uh the fallow deer one is insane. If you haven't looked at it, Necron, you need to. The the Fallow Deer Great One is one of the better looking great ones. I still think Moose is the best looking one, but it's really, really close. Ooh, dude. Big Boy 3 and a potential Diamond 2. The map is going off. It is popping the freak off, bro. Hey, he moved before I could shoot. I really hope they fix that, man. The like teleporting. Viper, thank you for the super chat again, man. Imagine getting a black bear and elk great one in the same run. Yeah, that'd be insane. That's why I'm saying I'd love a rocky elk great one. I think it'd be an awesome addition to the game. Another beautiful diamond. But are you? Yeah, he is. Let's go. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, JC. Perfect. I like that title. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, Jay. No worries, man. No worries, my dude. Do what you got to do. Uh, 21, Sam, exactly 21. I'm not going to tell you what 21, but exactly 21. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's, oh my gosh. I don't want a Rocky Elk or Mule Deer Great one next. Yeah, that's a, that's probably my top two picks as well, Scott. Both would just be such a welcomed addition. Because you could make some pretty insane racks with those things. Oh, true, Sam. True. You got to add the not clickbait at the end of it. Because anybody that says not clickbait definitely isn't clickbaiting. Definitely not. How many years have I been playing the game? I've been playing it since before it was released. Back in the days when the Hunter Classic was the only hunting game that EW was running. Uh, they announced the Hunter Call of the Wild on the launcher to the Hunter Classic. 
And anybody that wanted to could sign up with their email for a chance to play in the beta. And I ended up playing... I ended up getting an email saying that I got access to play in the pre-release beta. So I've technically been playing the Hunter Call of the Wild since December of 2016. Gosh, that's crazy, man. Crazy. It's been almost eight years since I first played Call of the Wild. Now, given there's a couple years worth of time that I didn't play the game, mainly in like the early parts of the game's existence, just because there wasn't a lot of updates super, super early and... You know, even when there was updates, there still wasn't, like, a lot of content to play around with. They didn't have uh, true racks or anything like that back then. So, like, once you'd killed all the animals, there wasn't really too much else to do. Nowadays, though, it's like endless things to do in the Hunter. It did, Sam. Oh, gosh. That's a website I would just stay away from immediately. I'd be like, nope, I will uh, not take my chances with that. How many kills am I in? Currently 58. Uh, Call of the Wild Mobile used to be a thing. Believe it or not, Call of the Wild Mobile existed for a while. And then they canceled it because nobody played it. I'm trying to remember like what the concept of it was. I I'm pretty sure it was like you just played some of the missions, like some missions similar to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, to be honest, Call of the Wild Mobile never even made it to the US. Like it, it stopped. It they stopped like uh, having people test it before it even hit the United States. I'm pretty sure it was just in Europe. And it never made it to the US because it just didn't do well. From what I remember. It's been a long time since I heard the story about it. But yeah. It just uh, it kind of fell flat on his face. Nobody really played it. I'm pretty sure you can still find videos of it on YouTube though. Um, I think maybe Ron McTube played it at one point. I can't remember if Ron got to. Can I rank these from easiest to hardest, please? Tiaboroa Red Deer. Oh, for HM. Tiaboroa Red Deer, Emerald Coast Red Deer, SRP Black Bear, Rev Whitetail. So easiest, Tiaboroa Red Deer. Second easiest, probably Rev Whitetail. Third would be Emerald Coast Red Deer. And fourth would be SRP Black Bear. Black Bear are one of those grinds where when you first start, it's probably the toughest grind in the game to HM. But, like, once you get to the end of herd managing them, it becomes super easy. So, it's one of those, like, slow burn type grinds where it starts out terrible. And by the end, it's really good. But, like, that first part is so brutal that it's still, like, in my opinion, the toughest out of those four that you mentioned. But Tiawaro Red Deer is just, it's a piece of cake. If I can get it herd managed, if I can herd manage Tiawaroa Red Deer before I hit level 60 on my great one before level 60 account, then you know it's a pretty easy grind to do. Oh, I know, JC. I've got a stream scheduled already. Got it scheduled, and I've got notifications turned on for my own stream, so it'll pop up on my phone. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I remember the old Cabela's mobile game, no. I played some of the old Deer Hunter ones, but I don't remember a Cabela's one. Yeah, that's a potential diamond. Nice. Wow, guys, we're on a roll today. 62 kills in 41 minutes. And two of those were the intro, so... Ooh, big boy. Big boy. 
So technically, 62 kills in 39 minutes. Ah, oh, dude, he turned. He turned. Man, didn't get him. Oh, you think it was Deer Hunter Nakabella's? Got you. In that case, yeah, I played some of the old ones. I played a few of the old Deer Hunter games on mobile. Unfortunately, not nearly as good as their PC games. The PC games for uh, Deer Hunter were great. Yeah, I remember American Marksman. Sadly, they just haven't really put through any updates that interest me. Like, they started out pretty good. They had a solid base when they released. Um, you know, they had a lot of good promises of doing some updates and stuff, but I just really haven't seen the level of, like, support and work that I expected from American Marksman. I mean, if they do a massive update that, like, adds a bunch of new stuff, then I'll get back into it, but... I just haven't really seen the the growth of the game that I had hoped for with American Marksman. Because it's been, like, over a year now, right? And I think they've only pushed out, like, one or two updates that were, like, content-adding updates. Not sure yet, TSM. Possibly. I'm still trying to get, like, uh, stuff figured out for that. I don't think I ever played the Wii hunting games. Well, there's three bucks here. What? There's never three here. There's never three bucks here. That's weird. That's really weird. Possibly PB. We'll see. There we go. Great one soon, I feel it. Well, we are 69 kills in. Maybe that's the magic number. Oh, nice, John. That's awesome. Congrats, my dude. Did you guys uh, end up seeing Big Rig's uh, April Fool's joke video that he did? I'm sure some of you in chat probably saw it. You probably saw Nate's uh, April Fool's joke video. Yep, loved it, saw it. <laughs> yeah, we spent like... How long was it? Probably... We spent probably two or, th no, probably like three to four hours. We probably spent like three to four hours trying to find servers that had a cheater in them so that he could pretend that it was me and then it just didn't end up working out. And so we ended up just like, uh, pretty much just talking about how much we hate it when people do it in multiplayer. <laughs> That's what it ended up turning into, but it was still fun to uh, be there while he was trying to make that video. It was a fun time. Big Rig is amusing. I know, right? Nate's funny. Wonder if some people actually believed it. I don't think so because Nate literally said in like the first 30 seconds that, haha, guess what, guys? He's not a hacker. 
but these guys that we found are are hackers and they're pretty bad or, or he said something like that for a second I took a, a, a quick double take there because I thought I shot the dough I almost panicked for sure JC <laughs> nice, John. Nice. <laughs> you know what's funny? The April Fool's video that I did. I saw a couple comments that were like, I know this is a joke video, but it actually worked for me. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder if it actually worked for them. I wonder if they're if they're telling the truth or if they're lying. Because I mean, I made the like dumbest steps possible for that video. Just so most people would know that it was a joke video. Glad you guys like the uh, the music in the background. Appreciate it. All right, so it's about ten minutes before. Actually, it's a little bit less than 10 minutes before I need to be in the chat and ready for Tackle Tuesday. So we're going to bounce out of the Call of the Wild stream right now. But we got 74 kills and 4 diamonds, so not bad for only 46 minutes of hunting. I'll take it. But we're going to be back in like 15 minutes or less with the second stream of the night, Tackle Tuesday. It's going to be a Kerper competition where we go for all three different types of Kerper. Excited for that, guys. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back with a longer Call of the Wild stream in two days for sure. And if I get done with recording early, then I'll do a bonus stream tomorrow. So stay tuned for the potential bonus stream tomorrow evening. Thank you guys for being here. Peace, peace, peace.